Welcome back you guys, my name is Legit Lee, and today I just wanted to show you how to set your um, 32 bit, uh, not 32 bit, but uh, your 32 channel servo controller. So you can buy this off of eBay or AliExpress I believe, and maybe even um, Amazon, I just haven't checked, but over here I have all these cables connected into the pin out so if you hold on let me just show you on the back, back side here so on the back here this is the name of the controller and you can see that it has VCC so that is voltage for DC voltage so I'm using 12 volts on that red wire right here and then they have ground and then VDC. So VDC is on the left hand side or V, oh, I'm sorry, I got it upside down, hold on. Let me just flip this correctly, I'm sorry guys. But um, shoot, I almost dropped it, come on. <sighs> Stupid stuff like this always happens. But um, here. It is upside down still, so let me just turn it this way so you can see a little better. That is the 32 servo controller version 3.1, and that right there is the sign or the um, the name of the company. It's like a um, symbol. So anyway, over here, as you can see with my thumb, VDC uh, VDD is the um I think I may have this a little wrong but right here that should be um the voltage for 5 volts the VDC DD and then well actually no it's correct because I just turned it on but I'll show you here in a second when I get everything plugged in but um, VCC is 12 volts on here, and then I have the negative. Oh, and that's not negative. That's actually the um, 5 volt. So the metal one is 5 volts. The one all the way on the left-hand side is 12 volts, and this is positive for each. That's why there's two red wires. And then I have ground coming from both the 12 volt and the 5 volt line in this one ground spot. So we have ground, those black wires, the red wires, that middle red wire is 5 volt volts on um, DC, and then we have 12 volt DC as well, all the way on the left. And that is all basically 1 amp voltage because I'm using this down here. I'll show you really quick. So I got this power supply adapter basically and if I could just turn it where you guys could see it I'm sorry if this is taking too long but right here you can see it says 12 volts and then 1.0 amps so 1 amp 12 volt 1 amp and it goes into this barrel um it's called a um coil axle cable I believe port or this is a female a male version that goes outward into these female types right here so over here I have a power supply that I had to regulate from 12 volts to 5 volts so I have that plugged in and soldered so this is the input voltage right over here and then the output comes so I got 12 volts coming in and then the output goes out to that barrel jack connector basically and it turns into 5 volts so that plugs into the board and then I solder two wires so this um, connector right here is going to turn from the 12 volts and goes into this input right here and I added another lead wire for 
12 volts to go to over here as well. So I got 12 volts and 5 volts going over to this um, 32 channel. So now I'm going to plug it in so you guys can see there's going to be probably a green LED light onto the, um, the board. So let me just plug this in. Give me a second. I'm going to pause the video and then I'll plug it in because I need to set the video down so I can plug everything in I think. Well let me, hold on, maybe I can't, maybe I don't have to. Uh, here we go. So, now I'm gonna plug it in. It's gonna be hard to show you while I'm holding the camera and everything, but I'll just sit my phone over to the side. Hopefully I don't drop it. It's hard to hold everything while I'm doing this, but I'm, just never mind. I'll plug it in and then I'll show you the light turning on. So, like I said, it's going to be 12 volt and 5 volts going into this connector right here. Okay, there it goes. It's plugged in. And you can see that I have it connected on to the barrel, I guess, track connector. Or the coil axle cable. is I forget exactly the name of those. But um, you can see the rain light is on. So it is plugged in. So now all I would have to do is plug the USB port right here. This is USB type B, I believe. And it goes into my computer. And then I even have two. I found another, um, another program that can run 32 channel um, servo motor controllers. So I have two of them right now, but I haven't tested it out yet. So I need to do that first. I was just test, trying to make sure that I got the power set up so that way it'll be able to run the step, the, the servo motors. But I use these type of soldering irons over here. I just wanted to show you guys. These are the TB, um, the TS100, I believe is what they're called. I got two of them. Because I lost this one, I wasn't sure if I actually threw it away or broke it or something. But I went ahead and got me this blue one. It's the same exact one as this. And I actually have the soldering um, connectors. I got two of them, two extra ones. So I was able to replace both of these yesterday. So both of these soldering joint um, connecting um, pots, I guess, are brand new and they both work good and they use this 24 volt power connector and they're the same as these um plugins that i just showed you well basically they're the same they're a little smaller so um i went ahead and got so when i bought the blue one it came with this power supply so i'm able to use both of them for the same one and i also got a 24 volt since they're 24 volt dc and this one runs at three amps i have a 24 volt power supply that i added the the connector for so that way i could have two power supplies for both of my um soldering irons here so i use this this is my favorite soldering wire and i get this from lowe's this is, has rosen core built in and it solders really well. I have two of these too. So I got this one still. I got some left. And I got a new one. I haven't used a new one really yet. But I got those. And those are what I use to solder all these connecting parts. So I use these soldering iron. Um, the TS100s I believe they're called. I use both of those. And I, I use that soldering wire to solder on to this power adapter i guess like it's an adjuster so that pot right there i use this small um flathead screwdriver i have a pack of screwdrivers they're sm they're small screwdrivers so i got phillips and flatheads so i use the small flathead to adjust the potentiometer of the pot on there to adjust the voltage from 12 volts to 5 volts but um, as you can see over here, the bolt, the board is on. It has a green light on, so it should work just fine. 
So now all I have to do, if you want to see the next video uh, about me making this um, motor controller run a stepper motor, please let me know so that way I'm not just making these videos for nothing. The only reason I'm making this video right now is because I have had some people asking me questions about the previous video about me setting up the 32 bit um, channel servo motor controller so I wanted to make sure that they're aware about how this works and if you want to see the next video I will show you guys where I got the program from and the step the step from the servo motors moving and everything operating and having this um, board actually working to move um, servo motors and that's all going to be in degrees because that's how the the servos move so like it'll do from 0 to 180 degrees so I can control the uh, the servo horn basically to whatever degrees I want so from 0 to like 90 or 80 or 180 for the full rotation that it can do basically or the full movement that it can do it doesn't do 360 which would be like a complete circle but some servos can do that i just don't have any right now that can do that but um as you guys can see i just want to show you that this was actually able to work so like i said i got a 12 volt 1 amp power adapter going over to this connection right here and it goes into this power supply so the power supply has two 12 volt leads one is going over to the motherboard and then the other one is going into this power supply and then i got another negative lead going over to the motherboard and then one into the power supply and then it comes out with that potentiometer set to 12 from 12 volts to 5 volts and that goes over to the board as well and that's why the light is green and why it's on so matter of fact just so you guys can see i'm going to unplug this so you guys can see that the light is going to shut off there and there it goes it faded out and now it's off so you guys can see that it is working so if you guys get this type of um 32 channel servo motor controller that will be basically the best thing you can do to set everything up or at least to power it on and then my next video if you want i'm not gonna do the video if nobody actually requests me to do so even if it's just one person looking at the video and just says that they want to see me running the servo motor and the program that i'm using and where i got the program from um just comment down below so that way i know i'm not making these videos for nothing because that would be a waste of my time but i hope you guys are liking the video please like share subscribe comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye